Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your fortnightly reading. We've just got the moon has come out, Pisces, Jupiter, Neptune, Venus. Beautiful, highly intuitive. Trust your intuition. Really come in and trust it. You're going to be getting some very, very powerful messages for you. And also, this is your reading, uh, fortnightly reading for May the 6th through to the 31st. There is a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius on the 26th. So I feel like that's going to be a very, very potent time for you, Libra. Uh, Pentacle 7, Saturn, Taurus, where you're going to see some very powerful growth, in particular to do with money, career and health. So even home. So fantastic, fantastic energy. Uh, Libra, I just need to say this is a general reading. You probably already all know that. Just take what feels like and feel, leave the rest. And I am on a little bit of a time. Uh, I'm on time. I'm timekeeping today because I'm going away and I have to keep make sure I keep the readings on time. Otherwise, I'm not going to get them done. So, uh, And that also means the extended reading is going to be slightly shorter this week, which also means that it will be at a special price of 30% off as well. So if you haven't, haven't had a chance to check those out, uh, this could be a really great week to do that. So let's just... so. Let's just, I'll talk more about them later, but let's get a final card for you here. And that Pentacle 7 is a real Taurus energy with the Saturn Taurus. You know, it might be around work. You might have been working hard and wanting to see growth come in. And sometimes it can be slow or feel like it's not happening. But this is kind of feeling like it's really about to start building in a really strong way. So I need an extra card for you. Here it comes. Okay. The Hermit, Mercury, Virgo, Mercury. And Mercury, interestingly, is moving into Gemini, which means that things are, ideas are going to start coming quickly and fast and all of this sort of stuff. And being an air sign, it's going to be good for you. It's going to be like, whoa. Uh, but here we have the hermit coming in. And this is very much another major arcana coming in. And it's a sense that what I'm getting with this is that you've gone to the top of the mountain like the hermit, learnt lots of things, you know, have done a lot of soul searching, a lot of soul growth, looked for a lot of answers for some of things in life. And you're at a point now where you're ready to come down and share that knowledge. There's a teaching energy. It's like you've attained a mastery of some sort and you've up-leveled and the world, you're ready to kind of share more of your gifts and abilities and skills. So that doesn't mean necessarily you have to be a teacher. You you can be a teacher, uh, but it can be you can teach your skills and be in a position where you're sharing knowledge uh, in any aspect of life. So that's what it's really saying and that's where we're seeing the growth is that uh, the universe wants more of you to share more of who you are and more of your knowledge. So there's this wisdom that's coming out now from you, Libra, that you're going to probably uh, feel like people are going to be asking more of you or more opportunities. It's just uh, things are going to be opening up. Here you are, the two of swords, you've turned up indecision, but the nine of cups crossed by the nine of cups. So yeah, the big question of what is fulfilling you is coming in uh, and the king of cups is crowning you. The hermit has come in again, so that's a really important energy and it might be that you need to take some time out to really think about something because there's a pending decision here. Uh, the nine of swords could have, could have been causing you a fair bit, well, there could have been stress, there's stress in the past. The two of pentacles in the near future. You are coming in as the three of swords, which is an interesting energy to come in as. So I am going to pull another card for that. But the Six of Swords, wow, okay, gosh, okay. Uh, the Emperor, this is a powerful reading for you, Libra. Uh, the Empress, you've got the Emperor and the Empress. My goodness, I, th you know, things are, this growth is could be exponential, but it's a lot of fear and doubt around it. I'm sensing, whoa, and the star, 
Well, there's nothing to worry about there with that star card coming in. Oh, and at the base, the wheel of fortune. My gosh, here comes the big guns and there's a change coming. There's a big shift and change. Uh, and whether you're ready to step into this or not, it's something you're probably going to spend, need to spend a bit of time thinking about it. And again, really, really tune in to your intuition. Listen to those messages coming through because uh, your rational mind may not have the answers, but your gut instinct, your your intuition probably will. So this is, uh, you know, this is the cross. This is the situation, the two of swords crossed by the nine of cups. And this is actually interesting. The big decision comes about because something starts lining up for you that could be bringing a lot of fulfillment. And that's requiring to step into something, step into something new. And so it's actually something, uh, it's one of what I'm getting is something really good is on offer here. And sometimes people can completely freak out when it's something really big and new and may require some shifting and changing because change is on the cards. So there's indecision, hesitancy, uh, going back and forth seeing both sides each way you move it may be some kind of conflict or create uh you know it's not going to please everybody or there's good parts and bad parts for either decision it's not just ones it's not just black and white chalk and cheese it's like yeah you can see the good sides on this side the bad sides on this side and both for both sides you know what i'm saying um so the yeah i mean the fact it's crossed by fulfillment uh is that you might be wondering as well how fulfilling this is going to be. Uh, so there's a lot of big question marks around this uh, and that's why the hermit energy as well is around going deep down and finding those answers. And we'll talk about that a bit in, in a sec, but you've got quite a lot of um, interesting water energy with the Jupiter, Neptune, Pisces and the star card and the King of Cups. Even though the star card is Aquarius, it is the water bearer. So it does have water in it and you're coming in. We've got water with the Six of Swords. So it is very much, it could be quite an emotional time and it could actually expand this sense of fear and doubt because you're stepping into this unknown uh, you're stepping into this huge ocean of unknown and, you know, like is there going to be fulfillment in that? Uh, and that's why in your conscious mind you've got the king of cups. You know, he's wanting to find, you, you're wanting to find emotional stability amidst this ocean that you're like, oh, my goodness, this could feel even overwhelming. Um, so, uh, but there's also... This, uh, when you step into those oceans of Neptune, it, it asks you to let go, to trust the process, to let go of some things that you've been holding on to that you no longer need. And to really, uh, it can also come with the spirit of forgiveness and forgiving energies from the past that could even be around betrayal or people not being honest with you or not doing the right thing around you. It's got this whole depth of emotion that you could be pulled into, this opportunity just suddenly, whoa, I'm in this whole emotional space here. So yes, in your conscious mind, the King of Cups Real kind of also Pisces and Scorpio energy, water energy coming through. There is that sense of needing to kind of find a, a stability, be master of your emotions, because this is, there's a lot of emotions going around this, and you don't want to be making the decision from this place, emotional place where you're feeling lost. Uh, and also, you're not finding the mental clarity here to make the decision. So that's why. Also, when you go into those deep spaces to, in order to make this to, uh, to where you need to be making a decision from, you've really got to trust your intuition. And that's part of what's on offer here because there's something really fantastic on offer. And uh, the universe is wanting to say, in order to step into this and get the most out of it, we want you to be really connected and expand your sense of intuition. So uh, really like hone in on that. So Jupiter is expanding this Neptunian energy. And this can also be a very cr highly creative energy for some of you. But for some of you, this can be, I just want to escape. Uh, this is kind of uh, overwhelming. But what I'm getting is it's just uh, a lot of intuition and emotions. It's it's coming into uh, an, a different place. But th that all shifts and changes. So at the base, we have the hermit, which is very much, you know, if you're going to go into those deep places, I want my my star 
guiding me. I want some guidance, some inner guidance, and that's your inner personal star. It's like, uh, and the thing with the Hermit is you might only be able to see a few steps ahead. The path is not necessarily illuminated that far in front of you, but this is the energy that's deep down. You know, it really is. You're going to have to dig deep and go really deep to find these answers. Oh my gosh, there's a balloon just quite literally flying past <laughs> the window. Um, like a hot air balloon. It was just like this huge thing came into my vision. I'm like, oh my gosh, what's that? Anyway, let's move back to this. So yeah, I mean, so it's going to be requiring you really testing your decision making abilities here. But we look at the recent past and you have the nine of swords uh, because something, it could have been this things have been stressing you this is stress, anxiety, even depression, uh, can be some real fear. Uh, it can just be that um, this has kind of come up to the surface because the universe is saying, do you want to be living with all of this? Because what this opportunity is bringing you is being able to step away from that. So that's actually really, really positive and so that's really great. But the thing with the Nine of Swords, it can trigger fears and anxieties. And then you go into this huge Neptune, this ocean of emotions and intuition. And it's like, oh, you can feel like, where am I? Um, but in the near future, it's, it's fine or clear. So don't worry about it. But um, the Two of Pentacles, and I don't mean to be flippant with that. I'm trying to be here, um, in, like just reassuring. But the Two of Pentacles is in the near future. So this is very much you might be going back and forth over something. Uh, it's very much like if, okay, we've looked at it from emotions, we looked at it from my mind, haven't made a decision, let's look at it from the money. How is this going to work like actually logistically, practically, logically, how is this going to work? And so it's kind of going back and forth over those kind of things. Uh, it could be around money, jiggling money. Um, it could be um, ambivalence again, not really sure, seeing both sides again, but looking at it from a slightly different angle. And it could be just feeling really stretched, you know, um, something's out of balance and it's caused quite a bit of stress. And this is what the universe is going to do. This change is happening, um, like I said, ready or not, with the wheel of fortune. It's a positive change. So if something's out of balance in your life and these two of swords and the two of pentacles is something is out of balance. And, you know, Libra, that is something that's going to affect you very deeply because your sign is all around balance. And it's very much going to be, make it even more, it's going to put the pressure on. It's going to make it seem more and more uh, imbalanced and harder to live with until you're able to step into this. It's kind of the universe is giving you a little nudge and there's the pressure will just, you'll feel that pressure. So that's why you're turning up as the three of swords, but, but with the six of swords is that this might be triggering some kind of emotional wound or there might be some sadness around this decision, uh, but it might be around, the decision might be around moving. Uh, and so, you know, sometimes it can be leaving one place and moving to another can bring some sadness with it. But the six of swords is also needing to find some peace with a wound that has come up to be cleared. So I feel like, you know, this is kind of what's on offer on a very deep level here. And it, it's like ready to move. You're ready to go. You're ready, you're ready to kind of uh, move to a better place with the Six of Swords. So that's really fantastic. And then in comes the big guns. In comes the, well, the universe has said, this is you. These cards feel like you and how you're feeling. And Neptune kind of throws you into that. But this is like, okay, this is what's coming in and this is really good. So these are kind of energies almost outside of you, but also connecting to you that is not personal. It feels bigger than you. And this is the emperor coming in, that beautiful Aries energy, the empress and emperor. Whenever they come in together, there is a sign of powerful expansion, success and growth about to happen. And then the fact you've got the wheel of fortune and the star, which is wishes coming true, change. It's, uh, you know, stepping into the future rejuvenating, uh, really feeling this, the guidance that you've been looking for. So combined, they are a force to be reckoned with. And that's why I'm saying change is coming ready or not. Uh, and it's kind of saying, uh, it's like, 
Again, they show me a picture of like I've, I get this quite often of a little kid being pushed out onto the stage into the limelight and they might not be ready. They might be in the wings going, I'm not ready, but the parent just goes, shove, if you think the parent's kind of like your soul energy, just goes, uh, not shove, but like a gentle kind of push, you know, everybody's waiting <laughs> and and you're out and finding yourself in the limelight suddenly, time to shine and it's like, am I ready for this? Am I Am I prepared? Can I do this? All these kind of questions. But the universe is saying this is where you're meant to be in the spotlight. You're meant to be shining. It's your time to take the stage. So it, the emperor energy around you, surrounding you, is there could be a very powerful Aries or boss. Um, it's success, basically. It's making something a concrete reality. There's an opportunity here to make this a real concrete, successful, something, a really concrete, successful reality. And that's going to be different to all of you. I do feel like with the Pentacle 7, like I said, it's that Taurine themes of home, career, money, body as well. So that's kind of like a lot of the themes that are coming in here around this success. So this could be... Sorry, I just had to have my timer to let me know. So this could be, you know, there's a fantastic opportunity come, being offered to you. And so, yeah, it's um, because you've got the empress. It, it's like, do I want to step into this? It may require moving, relocating, like I said. So uh, you have the empress coming in, which is uh, your ruler, Venus. You know, Venus has come in on top of you as well here on crowning the reading. So she's come in, the Empress has come in, and it's very much saying, you know, it's time to expand, it's time to step into your abundance again, it's time to shine. And so hopes and fears, yeah, the Empress can be love or a, a expansion of an opportunity, some nice things, having money to buy some nice stuff, luxury, feeling good. Uh, so it's all these beautiful things beauty and um, having surrounded by beautiful things and feeling like you've got, uh, you know, abundance and around you, things expanding. So it's actually really, really fantastic. But what you're being offered the masculine, which is the doing, this is happening kind of energy. And then we have as an outcome the star. And it's interesting, you know, you see that the, the hermit is using the star as guidance deep down. In it comes in a bigger form. You're going to see very clearly the path and the water barrier connects in to that ocean. And instead of feeling overwhelmed by it, it's a sense of replenishment and guidance and connecting back into the soul and coming back home to yourself. And so this is a beautiful Aquarian energy of progress, stepping into the future, feeling hope, uh, feeling positive about where you're going again. And so it's just got all these really fantastic energies and that's why it's got the energy of wishes coming true because it feels like that. So it's beautiful energy coming in and you'll see very, very clearly uh, when you go into that deep space that that star energy will come up and out from the deep and show you very clearly the path. And so that's why we have the wheel of fortune, that there is change coming and the wheel of fortune does sometimes step you into the unknown, but it does feel like it's with all these cards, it's just this amazing positive movement forward. It often can be a big, suddenly a sudden big shift and change in circumstances in terms of money, in terms of career in terms of where you're living. So that's what I, I kind of feel like it's got that that energy to it. So listen to the messages within, listen to the messages of your body, especially because intuition can talk to you through your body and listen to those because Mercury's here really strongly coming in and talking to you and giving you ideas and wanting you to listen to what this is. So the messages are there. If you're feeling lost, the messages are there. And this says, as I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Yes. And that's so fantastic because that is what the big question is. Do you want to say yes to this? Because there's a maybe, don't know, not sure. And then it's like, yes, with the star. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings to me only good experiences. 
So that is, you know, a really great thing to keep in mind when if you are feeling like you're in that Neptunian ocean. This one says, I am flexible and flowing. And that's what we do see with the star, that it, that energy of the emotions or that deep intuition starts working for you. It starts to flow. I am open to the new and changing. Every moment presents a wonderful new opportunity to become more of who I am. I flow with life easily easily, sorry, and effortlessly. And that's what's coming in with the start. It's so beautiful. So where things are feeling a bit stuck or unsure, things start to flow and things start lining up with the nine of cups. And sometimes, you know, if the flow happens too fast, it can freak you out at first, but then you'll start grounding in and feeling more at home with that because you have your beautiful empress coming in as well. So let's have a look. We have the Oh, you wouldn't believe it. You've got the star. <laughs> the star has come out so strongly. And we've got all of these like messages around the star. Uh, also, you know, that image of you being pushed onto the stage, almost like, well, encouraged onto the stage, like you are the star ready to shine. And this guidance of the star twinkling in the sky is so positive. You're going to get this really, really strong guidance. So trust that. And you also have a beautiful little angel. So your angels are with you and pray to your angels, speak to your angels, ask them, um, ask them for help, ask them for very specific guidance. And, you know, you've got angels and the star, wish upon a star. It's a great time to make a wish, Libra. So it's really, really fantastic energy coming through. But things, like I said, might happen quite fast. So that might be like, whoa, but um, where things previously felt quite slow. So uh, that's it for this part of the reading. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now and I'm just going to go with the extended. It's going to be slightly shorter, like I said, so it's going to be 30% off special price. So fantastic opportunity. Go and check that out. I'm going to pull some cards. We'll go straight to what's coming in the future, near future and the future beyond. And we're going to pull some cards for that. And then we're going to focus in on career, money, love and relationships and pull some cards for that. I'd love it if you come over because it always, um, you always find out so many more new things. It's really interesting and exciting. So the link for the extended is in the description box below and I usually pin it to the comments as well. And if this is where we're leaving each other, Libra, thank you so much for joining me. If you appreciate it and liked this comment, this comment, this content, Please like, subscribe, leave a comment or share because that lets YouTube know that you support the channel and appreciate the content. And I always love reading your comments as well. So take care, Libra, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.